Oh, I need to get those out. What's up, peoples and places and things and how y'all doing? John's Homestead checkup Saturday. I don't even know what the day is, but you know, I'll put it in later. Are they fruiting yet? Are they fruiting yet? Are they fruiting yet? Are they fruiting yet? I just been down here like every hour, you know, hoping that they're ready to fruit. Actually, I've been monitor monitor monitoring monitoring the humidity level and the temperature level, and I haven't had a need for airflow as much yet so I'm also beginning stages of trying to dial that in um, got my fan on my filter blowing some fresh air in when I need to got a little separate heat source because it's chilly down here stays like 62 Stays like 62 to 65 ish in the grow room right now. Hoping to bump it up just a couple degrees. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, changes down here in the mushroom laboratory. Lab laboratory. Um, not much else has happened here since last week. I like to keep myself busy though and one of the things that I like to do when I can actually do those things so this morning I had to get up I didn't have to get up I got up went to the scrapyard been planning on doing that all week waited till Saturday because why not wait till Saturday anyway we got some money this morning I scrapped some wire, but I kept some wire because in the winter time, or any time really, just when I have extra time, so to speak, I like to be creative and a little bit artsy. And one of the things I have in mind is doing some wire projects. More to come on that soon. Um, We'll go outside and do it. Uh, been gradually getting myself up to working out instead of just doing like a morning routine of stretching out and the whole splash cold water on your face thing. So expanding on that, I do come out and do some walks. Usually when I have the dogs don't have the dogs it's a little easier to get like a jog run type thing in and that's been helpful gets the blood flowing makes you feel better gets you up out of the chair helps your back feel better let's uh we'll go check out the non greenhouse greenhouse want to be what is this thing, John? Look at them squirrels. Crazy, man. Let's work at. Anyway, yeah. I don't know if it was because I left the door open and didn't put an, a door on, or so to speak, but the uh, freezing temperatures hit hard. It was. I don't know. It supposedly felt like probably 10 or 15 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if potatoes even grow anymore after that type of freezing. And anyway, <clears throat> there that is. So we're just gonna let that kind of oh, we're gonna let that kind of go. And uh, come back to you next year. wanted to show you the sage plant this one's actually been back here a couple years and uh yeah i can't believe how amazingly easy sage is to grow so 
sometimes I run down to the park and run around their little track. Most of the time I like to stay in the yard and just run around the yard. And I've been trimming these trees back with a handsaw. With a handsaw. Well, it keeps me busy. It gives me something to do. Get the blood flowing. I've actually uh, started working with my left arm, trying to saw with the left arm. A little bit more challenging since I'm usually using my right. So, gotta keep it interesting, mix it up, you know. It's cold. I'm going back in. Love you guys.